Difficult question program is on the air. Our guest is Caucasus Project Manager for Transitions Public Union of Czechia, Emin Cenzada. Welcome to our studio. Today's subject is related to social networks and its effects for Azerbaijan. Naturally, our first question is public question. Why slogan Internet for Everybody applied in Azerbaijan? Fact, Internet is not for everybody in Azerbaijan. The prices of Internet are expensive. Population began to use Internet a year ago. It's possible to provide people with Internet within a year. In my mind, if you continue with this speed, in Internet can be provided for everybody within three to four years. The using of social networks by people in Azerbaijan is being increased speedily. The number of users of Facebook has reached 185,000 people. What do Azerbaijani people use social networks for? For different purposes. The main aim is that people express their opinion. The second aim is that they can say what they cannot say anywhere and cannot deliver to broad media. Not only Facebook, but also other social networks in Azerbaijan began to develop. The number of social networks in Azerbaijan has reached to 20. The biggest of them is Beach, such as website. There are about 20,000 people there, about 250,000 participants in the social networks in Azerbaijan. It's not high figure. For example, the number of our users is less by twice than the number of users in Georgia. The number of our users is by three times more than using the users in Armenia. No, it's normal. Armenia is smaller state. Also, Georgia is smaller than our country. The number of users in Georgia is more by twice than our users. It shows that Georgians use cheap and quality internet earlier than us. They were offered earlier. What are internet prices in Azerbaijan in comparison with Georgia, Russia and Turkey? Is it conformed to salary? In fact, internet is cheaper in Azerbaijan. The price is in Azerbaijan is the same with Georgia. However, prices are a bit expensive in Azerbaijan. Of course, internet is expensive extremely in Azerbaijan in comparison with Russia and Turkey. However, I met an interesting fact. According to official numbers, 44.5 percent of the population of Azerbaijan use internet. The official numbers on this indicator are 45 percent in Turkey. In my mind, 44.5 percent number is not real for Azerbaijan. We don't have a lot of internet users. These numbers are inflated. I looked at Facebook. There are users ranging from 13 to 65 years of age in Azerbaijan. They created their account. There are a lot of youths here. Youths are interested in internet and social networks. What's the reason for it? It's not so only in Azerbaijan, but also in the entire world. Youths are always interested in internet. They are ready for innovations and they try to learn innovations. All the people learn later regarding their job a minority of time. Here people are interested in social networks. It means that this generation who is growing in Azerbaijan and using internet will be leading generation after 10 years. Information technologies will be more improved in other sectors. Social networks and policy. American President Barack Obama is a person who uses social networks in the world mostly. There are about 20 million people in his group. How do Azerbaijan politicians use social networks during the elections? The president, family members of president, leading politicians such as Isagambar, Ali Karimli, Etibar Mehmedov, Lali Shevkat, and others have accounts in multiple social networks. How will it be in the parliamentary elections? This is a difficult question for Azerbaijan. People who know about this sector and professional people use social networks and propagandize them. Politicians are using social media for six, eight months. It's very weak. They are not propagandized by broadly. The election commission secretary said that it's not right to use social networks in elections. What do you think about it? I looked at this information yesterday again. Press secretary said that they will control this issue after the election campaign began. It's not right to control social media by Central Election Commission and it's illegal. Is it possible to take the control of this issue with national legislation? 
This is still well discussed all over the world, and there is no such means and technology that can take control of it. For example, I want to show an example. The names of various military units of Azerbaijan were placed on Adnaklasniki social network after two years ago. The Minister of Defense declared that it's not right, and this should be prevented. However, preventing it was not possible, actually. Informa information is maintained that was created by users. Everybody can create it. If we run it, connecting with administrator, it can be created again tomorrow. The numbers are many. Sure. Even if an officer prevents this, there are increasing number of users who will create what they want. Therefore, principles of management of social media are being discussed in Europe. The European Union wants to prepare a plan to manage or regulate social media. However, they could not carry out such plan and they could not discover such program. It thinks that governments and dictators cannot prevent freedom of speech and expression. In fact, I mean using of social networks. It's not completely right, but I agree with you to an extent, to the point that every tool can be prevented. There are various methods for it, although we cannot change content of it, and we can see its operation. There are a lot of examples for it. For example, several sites were banned in Iran. It has been possible to use YouTube for two years in Turkey. However, it's possible to open websites that were banned, different resources and proxy servers which give opportunity to use YouTube in Turkey. Thank you for coming to our studio.